Hi friends, here we are going to learn the fifth method of finding out or is, uh, evaluating the limits, right? You know, sometimes what happens, uh, we solve some problems and we get some results. And using those results, we uh, make that some ideal, you know, some formula you, we make that result. Uh, solving some, ex uh, some problems, we get some result. And using those things, those tricks, those results, we can evaluate sometimes some problems, or some big problems, right? Uh, you might not be getting what I'm saying. Uh, let me write it here. Uh, means the fifth method is using the standard result, right? Uh, you know, when we sometimes do problems and we get some results and we use that result to solve some other problems like that, right? That I mean to say. And the first standard result is here, limit when x tends to a, right? Limit when x tends to a, x to the power n minus a to the power n whole divided by x minus a if you solve this kind of expression uh, then you will get the result always and always n times right a to the power n minus 1 right this is the standard result if you solve any time anywhere this kinds of problem always and always you'll get this kinds of result so that's why we use we used to say them a standard uh, form or a standard result right so from next time onward if we see this kinds of problem then we can easily write this right you know this kinds of problem actually uh, this kinds of uh, tricks uh, or results actually helps us uh, in mcq multiple choice problems right uh, most of the pro um, most of the people's or students uh, when they prepare for the intrinsic innovation for the uh, engineering or some various other examination which is connected th throughout the world right in such cases to do the quickly uh, you know to find the quickly the value we used to uh, use this kinds of problem right now uh, this kinds of uh, result exactly I'm sorry now another result is limit when x tends to a x to the power m a to the power m right whole divided by x to the power n minus a to the power 9 n right e to the power n so for this kinds of expression if you solve by any methods or by the substitution method generally we solve this kinds of problem by substitution method uh, as we have learned in fourth problem this kinds of problem we have standard results always always what we have found uh, find out that m upon n times a to the power m minus n this is another standard result we have got after um, solving any uh, solving lots of problem right so these are two standard results or uh, the two standard forms uh, using this you know we'll be solving lots of problem now and it's a quick method also you know quickly you can do using these two methods right so uh, right now here yeah, I'm just giving an example of this right simple example very simple example simply here yeah, suppose uh, limit when x tends to suppose 2 right and here is x to the power um, suppose uh, minus 4 and 2 to the power minus 4 and divided by x minus 2 then for solving this kind of problem simply what we will do same n times a to the power n minus 1 so here n is the 4 so minus 4 times a here is the constant value a is the constant that is 2 to the power n minus 1 the n is here minus 4 so minus 4 minus 1 so it will be now here minus 4 times 2 to the power minus 5 or simply minus 4 2 to the power 5 that is minus 4 2 to the power 5 that is 2 to the 4 to the 8 to the 16 to the that's 32 right so 4 8 mm, so what we got the value minus 1 upon 8 so simply uh, like this we can easily find out the value of this right and another example I use the first one here I'm using the another example to uh, use this formula right so uh, suppose limit x tends to 2 uh, here in only here only right suppose x to the power minus uh, or le let me take some positive value suppose some um, 8 and uh, 3 to the power uh, 8 divided by suppose uh, x to the power 3 and 3 to the power 3 so to solve this problem again we'll be using the same this formula right that is here 
uh, let me change color here this 8 is working as M right both side 8 is working as M and this 3 is working as N and N so simply it will be M upon N right that is M here is 8 and n is here 3 times a to the power m minus 1 a is here the constant that is 3 a this 3 is the a so a that is 3 mm, this way there it's not working properly my pain yeah 3 to the power m minus n that is 8 minus 3 so what do we get 8 upon 3 times 3 uh, 3 why it's not writing I'm sorry uh, I'm writing here right 8 upon 3 times 3 to the power 8 minus 3 that is 5 or this 3 will go outside since there is nothing there is 1 so 8 times 5 to the power 5 minus 1 that is 8 times 5 to the power 4 right and that is 6 8 times 625 uh, why it's not writing 8 times 625 now simply by multiplying 825 uh, uh, you can get the value uh, it uh, let me calculate also again here say uh, here 625 age uh, so 8 5 is a 40 carry over 4 8 to the 16 and 4 20 carry over 4 uh, sorry 2 again 8 6 are 48 48 and 2 5 so it is 5000 right it is equals to 5000 uh, set why it's not writing it's equals to 5000 so like this we can easily solve using the standard forms right and in various example uh, various problem we have to uh, solve the problems using this standard results right and it's quick and easy method uh, we'll be meeting in the next video with uh, different different problems related to the standard form also and after this we'll be learning the third method sorry sixth method to find or to evaluate the limit okay bye bye